Yeah. And it sounds like you had this upbringing and then now you're having this repetition in your life. So you have an interesting view of challenging kids, right? So let, why don't we dive into this? And I assume your son is involved in this view. So can you explain your viewpoint of what challenging, what, what's going on with challenging kids? Yeah. So I think that just to describe a challenging kid to begin with, it's that kid that is a little harder to understand. Maybe you would describe them as strong-willed or spirited or highly sensitive. Maybe others describe them as defiant or disrespectful or aggressive, but these are the kids that they beat to their own drum. They are a little too much or a little too little of whatever it is we're expecting as adults from them. And at as those children are growing and developing, they know it. They know that they are not meeting the expectations of those around them. The parents are struggling because they feel like they're not able to help their kids. And then the teachers are struggling because they feel like this kid is making the classroom more difficult when really this child does not feel seen, heard, valued, or understood. And so we're going to see a lot of outward behaviors that are part of their personality. So what I mean by that is if you've got an incredibly passionate kid, you're gonna see that intensity come out in things they love in amazing ways. And you're also gonna see it come out in aggression and in big emotions and big fits that they don't know how to handle yet. And so I believe it's our job as parents to become their guide and their mentor and to accept them fully for who they are and help them hone those different skill sets and the different pieces of who they are. 